welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom. I'm Kendall Lawrence, and today I want to make some lovely chicken and rice with you. Um, this chicken and rice is so savory and so delicious, you just can't even imagine. It's very similar to the Puerto Rican style, Addles con pollos, um, but it's different. It's not the same recipe, but it's similar. It's got the um, brininess of the olives and the tomatoes and oh my gosh the, the whole thing is just magnificent so come on let's go take a look at our ingredients and get this party started okay so here are the ingredients for our chicken and rice of course I've got some chicken I have eight pieces here four thighs and four legs you can use a whole cut up chicken or any part of the chicken that you like I have some tomato paste and I really do like this brand called Cento um, I love the flavor of it and I also like the fact that it comes in a squeeze tube so you don't waste any you know usually when you get the little six ounce cans um, you use some and you don't if you don't use it all you have you end up throwing it away and this is just it stores so nicely and it tastes really well. I've got some green olives here that I'll slice up. I have uh, some garlic powder. I have some uh, cumin. Cumin. I have some olive oil. I have some dried oregano and some cayenne pepper. I have some salt, some pepper, some smoked paprika. I'm all out of this. Spanish smoked paprika, the paprika that I love so much, but I'm gonna I'm gonna order some of that off of Amazon. I've got uh, two cups of white long grain rice. I've got five cloves of garlic that I've sliced thinly. I have one large uh, green bell pepper that I've uh, diced up, and I have two of the small sweet peppers. One. Uh, orange and one red. I have one small onion that I've diced up. And the good thing is we, we mostly have all of this stuff in our cabinets already. So this is not something you have to run out and go and buy a whole bunch of stuff for, which makes it nice. Okay, so let's start putting this together. So here's what we've got going on now. I have uh, salted and peppered my chicken generously on both sides. And I've got a heavy bottom skillet on the stove here. And I've got it up on high. And I am going to brown the chicken on both sides. Whoa! Away from you. Okay, so my chicken has been browning on both sides for just a few minutes, maybe three minutes per side. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take about a half cup of water and I'm gonna turn the eye off. And I'm gonna just let this sit here and I'm gonna move over to my Dutch oven and start uh, uh, caramelizing my... Uh... Okay, I don't know if you heard anything that I uh, recorded just a minute ago because it said that I didn't have enough memory. So what I did was I browned my chicken on both sides for about three minutes and um, then I poured in a half a cup of water and I turned the eye off and I'm just gonna let it sit here and let the pan deglaze on its own. Now I'm gonna move over to my Dutch oven and I'm gonna start sweating down my onions for about five minutes. Okay, so I've been sweating down my onions for about five minutes and about a tablespoon of rice. Now I'm going to add in all of my spices that I listed at the top of the video and I'll put all of those in the description box and about the amounts that I put in, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right now. Okay, so I have all my spices in and um, I have those again listed in the description box. So now I'm going to add my sliced olives and this was about a dozen or so of olives and I'm going to add my uh, garlic. Stir that around for a sec. And I'm going to add my peppers. And I'm going to let this sweat down for just a moment. Okay, so my veggies have softened up just a bit. And now I'm going to add about a quarter cup of my Fento tomato paste and about two teaspoons of salt and two cups of rice and to that two cups of rice I'm going to add about three and a half cups of water you can add four if you like 
Okay, so I've got my uh, three and a half cups of water in here and I've stirred it all around with my tomato sauce and my veggies. And now I'm gonna add my chicken back to the pot. I'm gonna add all of my chicken on top, arrange it all on top of the rice. And I'm also gonna add the water that we added to the pan when we, uh, after we brown the chicken that we use to deglaze the pan. Okay, so my chicken is in the pot. I've added the water that was in the pan to the pan. And that was the reason that I added three and a half cups because I knew that I was gonna add some of the water here. So I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I am gonna put the lid on my Dutch oven and I'm gonna pop this in the oven on 350 for about half an hour and we'll go back and check it at the 30 minute point. I just took our chicken and rice out of the oven. Let's take a look. Wow, that looks great. Looks great. Okay, so I am going to let this cool off for a couple of minutes and while, uh, and then we'll come back after it's cooled off and we'll give it a taste. Okay guys, so here's our finished dish our um, chicken and rice. And this is very, very similar to the Puerto Rican style um, chicken and rice. It is not, and by any means am I saying this is exactly the same. I know, and, every, and there are so many ways to cook chicken and rice and just about every culture has chicken and rice. So, you know, I'm not claiming anything here, but it's similar, it is very similar. And it looks absolutely delicious. The colors are beautiful. Let's taste. Mm, that's really delicious. It's delicious, it's economical, it's filling, it's got all the right components. Hey, comment, like, subscribe, share, and go feed your family. I love you guys, bye-bye.